Kevin Durant to the Phoenix Sun. Manchester City just controls the game the whole time. Tom Brady himself. All right, guys. So obviously we heard about the NBA World. Uh, the NBA World. Damian Lillard put up seventy-one. What does that mean? I mean, me personally, Damian Lillard, I love him. He's a phenomenal player. But the reality is, it means nothing to the Portland Trail Blazers because in the reality is, they're probably not even going to make the playoffs. I mean, it's a hell of a performance. So let's not discredit Damian Lillard for that performance 100%. But again, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, Portland Trail Blazers are probably not even going to make the playoffs. The Portland Trail Blazers are for sure not going to win an NBA championship, especially with the team they have now. And in the future, if they don't rebuild around Damian Lillard the right way. Right. In my opinion, if Damian Lillard wants to ever push for a championship, he should go to another team. But the reality is, it was a phenomenal performance, 100%. Let's not discredit it from him. He went and shot 12 threes. Um, he could have tried to Clay Thompson. And I don't think it was for lack of effort of not trying. Right. But got close yeah. to it. Performance, we're never trying to get. But in reality, it doesn't mean anything. It's not, good point. It's not good like the point of the Trailblazers are going to push for the playoffs. More importantly, they're not going to push for the NBA Finals. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, I don't know. What, I don't know. I would. Well, I would, I would agree, but as far as it doesn't mean anything, I don't think it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. You know, we can look at it as obviously it's going to be a notch on his belt, a good accolade that he's going to have for his career. You know, again, yeah. everybody exactly, <laughs> everybody knows that Dame Dame Lillard is a great player, phenomenal player. He's carrying that Portland team on his own. He can only do so much. Yeah. Um, as far as Portland, if they don't get their shit together, they can lose him. Why? Because what Dame did that night, shooting 71 points, making those 12 three-pointers, rose his stock value. Yeah. All right? So now let's just say, it, you know, Dame, you know, after a while, you know, the loyalty, yeah, he's loyal. He's a loyal dude to the uh, to the Blazers. But let's just say, you know, the Blazers are on a fucking slump, and their best way to, to get out of it is to start rebuilding. Who's their biggest asset at that point? Dame Lillard. Yeah. And guess what? Dame actually has some leverage. I'm sure he don't want to go, but if he wanted to go somewhere, he can say, "I would like to go to these teams and see what you can, what deals you can get from them." Yeah. So as far as a team um, standpoint, all Portland and Portland fans can say is, "We got Dame Lillard shooting 71 points." Yeah. But what Dame can say is, "I'm just increasing my value as a player, and in the future, if I need to, I can choose where I want to go." Yeah. I mean, I agree on the point about increasing the value of what does it mean to the what does it mean to the Pro Blazers. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's a phenomenal player. He is one of those players, the top ten, uh, top fifteen players in the NBA as of right now, hundred yeah. oh, yeah. percent. Top five point guard in the game right now, hundred right. percent. No de- no disagreement on that. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're right. It gives, only gives him more value. But at the end of the day, I mean, at this point, to the Portland Trailblazers. They're not going to do much. They're not going to push for anything. They're not going to build around them. If they tried, they tr- they failed tremendously in the past. They need new management. <laughs> That's um, what it but is. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. Do you think it's going to rile up the team, make them try a little bit harder? I'm I sure. Mean, I'm sure the guys there try their hardest. You know, at least a good majority of them. Yeah, hundred percent. But at the end of the day, it's just those players that they have around. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the only great player aside Damian Lillard, who's the second option. He's the rookie, bro. He's a rookie. I think he wears number yeah, number seventeen. Like, but that's that's all I know, bro. That's all I know. Yeah, but he it, it proves my point. 100%. Yeah, exactly. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think that it's definitely gonna rile up the team. I mean, on the next game, we'll see whether he steps up again and maybe not score seventy one points, but gets a little bit closer to maybe thirty or forty, but then gives more assists. Um, that way he becomes like the, the person that they want to build around instead of selling him, well, not selling him, but trading him. Right. Um, I think that's probably going to be a better route for the team. Um, but I think, yes, that's they're going to be their biggest asset, and I don't think they're going to want to trade him off. Yeah. Let <laughs> us know what you guys think in the comment section. Though. Sorry, were you going to say something? No, no, no. It's, it's just got to love the NBA. A lot of shit can happen, as yeah. we saw yeah. on this last uh, trade deadline. A lot of the yeah, a lot of moves can happen. Yeah. A lot of these performances are lame. I mean, let us know in the comment section though. I mean, what do you guys think of the the seventy one point game from Damian Lillard? What's your reaction to it? What does it really mean? I mean, give us your take on it. I mean, again, in my opinion, it doesn't really mean much, but you know, this is agree to disagree here. Yeah. But until next time, we're out. Peace. Out. Oh.